trying to collect the samples for DNA testing and ancient DNA is really difficult to get because it's ruined so there's um, issues of contamination so if someone's particle of someone's skill, skin fell into a sample, a bit of hair, um, eyelash, anything it could contaminate the sample that they're testing and in that case you might get um, our cameraman's DNA instead of the mummy so we've got to be careful. Carefully, carefully, there you are. This is the best preserved mummy I've seen because also because um, there are some beautifully preserved mummies that then have been damaged by tomb robbers like the elder lady. She's beautiful but all this part is gone because tomb robbers have damaged her. Whereas these mummies were in a tomb that was intact and so they were never disturbed and they're in amazing condition. Right now um, these guys are preparing to take the samples. They're trying to get down to the leg because the leg is, um, has lung bones. And because they're longer and they're stronger, they're thicker. And so there's less risk for contamination. So they, they try first from the lung bones, from the leg and the arms. Sometimes the hip as well, but the best bones are the leg bones. 3,000 years ago, a legendary boy king was buried and a mystery was born. Ink Todd Unwrapped, from your Sunday at 8, Sundays are awesome on Discovery.